Hello and welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos and this is my 53rd vlog. So hello. I have my morning coffee today. This is the one I didn't show you guys last week. Check this out. Look at that. So I'm always almost spilling my stuff on you. <laughs> That's a big coffee. But sometimes you do need a lot of coffee, right? <laughs> this will definitely get me through the morning. <laughs> Check that out. So sparkly and pretty. I love these colors. It is just beautiful. I can't stop looking at it because it's just, I just love these colors so much. But I had gotten this from Emerson Aurora Designs. There's her little card. Make sure it's focused. But you can find her on Instagram, Etsy, and YouTube. Yes, she does YouTubes as well. And I believe she has a tutorial on how she you know, does this, and she has some other really awesome tutorials as well. Some of you guys might have already seen them. Her, her stuff's kind of popular, so, yeah, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you may have seen her already, so Emerson Aurora Design. Thank you so very much. It is beautiful. I absolutely love it. But as always, I will make sure to put her shop into the description below, so that way you guys can go check out her Etsy shop, her YouTube, and stuff like that, all right? <laughs> I'm getting a lot of my orders done. I'm so happy and so very excited. You can see my my box, my stack of boxes behind me there. <laughs> I, I think I have 15 orders left now, 15, maybe less than that. I'd have to check, I, I don't know. The days kind of melt together when you have a lot of orders you gotta do. <laughs> but I know a lot of those orders were from some of you guys and I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for purchasing from me. I'm working on it. It's getting together, you guys know, kind of takes time and stuff like that. I want it to be perfect for you guys. There were a couple of rush orders I had to do, which rush orders always make my heart kind of have an anxiety attack. <laughs> I, I always uh, kind of panic a little bit when I have rush orders because it's like I don't like to rush my stuff, but I know you guys reached out to me and you want it at a certain time. And then once you ship it, it's like, I hope it gets there. <laughs> I only had so much time to do that. Do you guys do um, rush shipping on, on tumblers if, if people ask? Or do you just like, no, I, I like to keep it on the time frame that I have because I just, I don't have time to rush orders. What do you guys do? Now that it's almost the end of April, have you guys noticed an influx in orders maybe for Mother's Day? Have people asked about that with you guys? How are your sales going for Mother's Day this year? And then, of course, after Mother's Day, you know, we got to start thinking about Father's Day. And I know that's kind of a tough one sometimes because it's kind of tough to come up with guy cups. Like literally anything in your shop could be geared towards a mom and Mother's Day, pretty much. You know, any type of glitter or tumbler you have could be have the word mom put on it. So, I mean, that's easy. But a lot of us uh, struggle <laughs> with uh guy related tumblers so i need to come up with some stuff for you guys for for guy stuff yes <laughs> okay well i'm gonna work on some orders with you guys today um i'm gonna try to do it a little bit different uh i want to try to just not do a voiceover and just kind of talk you know naturally while i'm doing my projects with you guys because uh, voiceovers just take too much time and i just feel like you know, you don't feel as connected when I do the voiceovers and stuff like that. So I, I'd like to try to just, as I work, do it with you guys. I know some of you guys really enjoy that. <laughs> Maybe you guys can hear my kids screaming and fighting in the background. Who knows? Who knows what the dog's barking? I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> You'll get to hear what it's like when I try to craft. <laughs> All right, guys, I got my coffee beautiful coffee <laughs> and I'm ready to wake prep and slay all day. Let's do this. All right, I have a wood grain I have to do. We want a fish on the front and then the name on the back. So we're gonna get that done. Jack, you can't be up here, buddy. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff weeded really quick. And then we'll do some wood grains. Now 
Now, because I'm applying this to a skinny tumbler, uh, I don't have to worry too much about cutting out my outline, but typically when I put this onto a regular curved tumbler, I'll make sure to come in there and do a lot of slits and stuff like that because this will get all bunched up. But just as long as everything is nice and flat up against your tumbler, all the main lines, it doesn't matter anyways because we're going to be pulling this. This is just um, to help us, you know, make the design on the tumbler. I'm going to use some of this extra stuff. I had a little bit of this fishing line that didn't get on there. There we go. See? There we go. That thing will go to waste. All right, now we're going to get that onto the tumbler. Again, this is a skinny, so I have to put this little lid on so I know where the front and back is. There we go. That's the back, front. This is going to be easy. All right. Make sure my lid's on good. Everything's burnished down really well. All right. Now we're going to get that placed. I got to stand it up. I can't do it laying down. <laughs> I just can't do it. All right. Smooth down. Here we are. I'm gonna put the name on the back and then we'll start painting. All right, we got the name on, we got the fish on. Now we're gonna do some wood look. Got my favorite brush that I've had for years. I've used this brush. This is the only brush I recommend. I love using these little I think they're chipper brush, I don't know, something like that. A little two inch brush, absolutely love it. And it's lasted all these years. So I don't know how, because <laughs> I've done hundreds of these wood grain look tumblers and it's and it's and it's been my friend. <laughs> all right, I got my teak wood. It's the only color I use. This is exactly how I do it. It's one color, that, that's all you need. You don't need to fuss too much with too many colors. Unless you want, I mean, some people like that, you know, different look, different colored look going on, but just just one for me. Sorry, I, I had to hurry up and slap this on really quick. I gotta get my cat down. He keeps, he keeps jumping on the table, I don't know why he keeps doing this. Jack, you gotta go, go on. I'm working, we, we don't want you up here. I'm sorry, I love you. <laughs> All right, anyways, let me redo that line really quick. So you just do a stripe down, I just kind of swirl a little bit and then just up and down motions, just like that. Extremely simple. Make sure you kind of do your bottom as you go too. And then I just go right next to it. Do the same thing, just kind of give it a little swirl. Hit up the bottom a little bit, and then side to side motion. Um, big tip I would have for you guys uh, when you're doing wood grains is you know, wear your gloves if you don't want to get your arms all stained up. And don't do it around any other tumblers that are you're working on because you could splatter the inks up onto it and you, we don't want that. So trust me, I've done that. So <laughs> you gotta be careful because the stuff splatters as you're going, it's kinda, kinda messy. But I just love the way these look. They're probably one of my favorites to do. This is exactly how I do it, just all the way around. And then just real quick motions up and down, just like that. See how it's looking so far? All right, easy peasy. All right, I'm gonna finish this up really quick. And there we go. So, Sometimes when you're spray painting, um, some drips will happen and stuff like that, but I actually don't mind them because it actually kind of looks like part of the wood. So 
I, I actually don't mind whenever it kind of has a little bit of drip here and there because it just adds a little bit more character to what you're doing. Now I'm just gonna come back through and kind of touch up a couple little areas here. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I do my bottoms as well. Some of you guys probably already seen how I do it, but I like to finish up my bottoms a certain way. And I'm gonna pull all these off. I'm gonna just kind of touch up here and there. There we go. See? Go and then I'm gonna touch up this little area right here because I don't know, I just don't like the way that looks right there. So I just run a little bead all the way down again. You want to go all the way down, just do my little circle motions and then back and forth really fast. Go. That one didn't need to go all the way down. There we go. Here we go. All right, I think I like it. What do you guys think? I'm just gonna kind of take my brush one more time and just sweep over everything one more time. It kind of adds a little bit more around the rim here. You see, it kind of darkens it up just a little bit and adds a little bit more shadowing here and there. I know it's kind of hard to see on the video, but it's kind of go around and do that. And this was all one color, like I said, and it looks great. Never had an issue. All right, now we're gonna peel up this vinyl. Now, another big thing I can tell you guys is when you go to do your wood grains and if you wanna do this look that I'm doing, I highly recommend you read the back you of your uh, white spray paint. You read the back and you need to make sure that you kinda of go over what it says back here on how long to let the stuff cure so that way it doesn't peel up on you when you go to do this. I like to let mine sit for a day or two after I paint them just to make sure that paint is fully on these tumblers because if you don't and then you go to peel up your decals, that paint will come up with it. So that's another big thing I could tell you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these peeled really quick. It's super simple. I just take my thumbnail because I kind of have some nails going on here. And then I just lift it up like that and then I'm just gonna do that all the way around and then I'll show you guys how I finish it up. All right, I'm almost done here. Let me get this last letter off. Now I know there's a lot of you guys that like to kind of do stuff different ways. Um, I know some of you guys like to go ahead and just paint your vinyls with your alcohol inks, kind of look like a wood grain there. There's lots of different ways that everybody does this, but for me, I just really like doing it this way. I, I, I just like how it looks more realistic when I go to do it now. I'm gonna take my, my brush again, just dry. I'm not gonna put anything on it or anything like that. And I'm just going to dry brush it right over my, my stuff here to kind of tent it just a little bit. Cause that's just the white base right underneath. So I'm just gonna do this, fluff it out really good. Get it the color that I'd like. See how that looks? It looks, to me, it looks more realistic it looks more natural I really really enjoy doing these these are my favorites and like I said I've done hundreds I, I don't know lots <laughs> there we go all right I like the way that looks what do you guys think okay now let's do up that bottom all right I have my paper towel I got my rubbing alcohol you want to make sure Whenever you use your rubbing alcohol, try not to get it on your tumbler, you know? So I just take it and I just squirt just a little tiny bit. There we go. Just a little tiny bit. And I take my finger. I just put it up inside my finger there like that. Let me wipe my hand off so that way I think I had a little bit of alcohol in there. You don't want to mess it up, right? Okay, I think it's good. Now I'm just going to take my bottom. And this is how I always do it. I absolutely love the way this looks. It almost looks like a log. And I just think it gives it just a little bit more character than just kind of a painted bottom. I'm just gonna go around in circles with that. I'm gonna flip it inside itself here. And I just keep going. 
kind of wiping off a little bit at a time as I go and doing swirls as I go. It doesn't have to be perfect because, you know, trees aren't perfect, you know. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. All right. I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to, now I'm going to take it and do this. This kind of helps out getting any of that extra. And you want to make sure your hands are clean without any alcohol on it. And you hear that noise? That's what you want. That. And I just keep going. And there we go. Now it looks like a log. And that's, well, almost a finished product. So that's what my wood grains look like. Just like that. Okay, now it's ready for a coat of epoxy. And I like to put, I like to spray my clear, my clear, not clear epoxy, goodness. <laughs> I like to spray my two times ultra uh, clear over top of this by Rust-Oleum. That's just what I've always done. It might change the color just a little bit, but then it'll go back exactly back to this color after you apply your epoxy and everything like that. So don't worry about that. I know some people have some issues. They're like, it turned a little green or yellow. It, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna go right back to this color once you are done, okay? And there you go. Okay, and here is turning away, as you can see. All that discoloration that you might get whenever you put the clear coat on it, it completely goes away. It'll be just fine. And that one's gonna be ready to go probably by Wednesday. All right, another day down. I, I obviously did more stuff. Than, anyways, you guys know, I, I do more stuff than what I show you. I just want to show you some tidbits of my day. <laughs> so I moved on to my afternoon drink. Look at this pretty thing. Look at that. She gave me a little straw topper there. <laughs> Very pretty. I love how she did the offset where it's like a coral and then the white. I really liked that. So, so pretty, but I got that. Let me get my card. Hold on, let me get my card. <laughs> I got that through Creative Crafts, Miss Wanda Kaufman. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful design and she sells on Etsy. She also has a Facebook and stuff like that too. If you guys wanna check her out, you know, show her some love. You can sign up for, um, on our Facebook and through her Etsy shop. Uh, let me see, she made a little thank you card. That was so sweet, look at that. Handmade, super cute. And then how to handle my, my tumbler. This was cute, I thought this was cute. Made with two hands and the love of one heart. Embrace the imperfections for no machine was involved. Only two loving hands created by God that was in there how cute is that and this is her card here so thank you so very much I absolutely love it <laughs> makes me want to go to the beach I'm drinking a sangria today just I know some of you guys wonder and that makes me want to go to the beach even more it's definitely hot enough here to go <laughs> and the humidity is definitely back so I gotta figure out something in here to get my room circulated well, ventilated well, and the humidity out and all that stuff. I'm thinking about looking into, well, I, want, I definitely know I want some type of split for an AC unit, but I'm thinking about getting um, really good ventilation for over top, like I can turn the fans on and it sucks the air out, kind of like how some shops do when they do woodwork and stuff like that. but. That's what I'm thinking about doing in here so that way I can get everything up and out. So <laughs> fresh air in, bad air out, right? As always, I have some tutorials coming, or well, not some. Um, when I have more time, maybe I'll start doing two, two tutorials a week and then my one vlog, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but I do have a tutorial uh, coming up this week. It's gonna be involving, let me grab them these two glitters here so we shall see <laughs> so be on the lookout for that but I think that's gonna do it for me today I still gotta go in and give the kids a bath and 
all that fun stuff that we typically do on Sunday nights. I gotta get their school clothes together for the week and all that. So, and I gotta give my mom a call. I, I always talk to my mom every Sunday. You gotta talk to your mom, right? <laughs> but I think that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Make sure you check everybody out that I put into the description below. Go show them some love and everything like that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.